Ahoy ya swabs, Captain Jeff the Pirate here at Char Disservice. And welcome to Captain Jeff Reviews and Questions Adventure Time. Today's episode, Summer Showers. Now, this week we had five consecutive nights of new Steven Universe. And only one new episode of Adventure Time. But next week, that all changes around. Next week we get all, a whole week of new Adventure Time and no Steven Universe. Arr. Arr. Anyway, this episode I will be reviewing and then next week it'll be, I'll have to find a way to compile all five episodes to review. So anyway, moving on. This episode, it be marking the major appearance of Viola. This be one of Jake's and Lady Raina Karn's five children. We saw all of them during their debut of Jake the Dad. And now, uh, by this episode, this marks, uh, out of all five children, uh, the only, uh, the only, uh, child that hasn't had, like, a major starring role in their own episode would be, uh, would be Charlie. So, that, yeah, so, Viola, Viola makes the fourth one, so onward and upward. Alright, the episode opens with uh, Viola trying to audition for a play being that was written and directed by Lumpy Space Princess. Arr. She doesn't get the part, but instead she is uh, <clears throat> promoted, or I guess demoted, I think it's the more correct term, to Lumpy Space Princess's personal assistant. And her first task is to do LSP's laundry, which raises my first question. I thought LSP wasn't but she doesn't wear anything, but, but, I, you know what, no, I, I don't want to ask that question, I don't want to think about the answers. <sighs> anyway, she meets up with her father, to, to, and she is embarrassed and lies that she actually got the lead part for the leading lady. Jake admits that he was, always felt he was a little bit of a, ashamed of how bad of a father he was. This could be some backlash from the episode Ocarina. And also from the fact that in Jake the Dad, all the puppies are, they, they just grow up within like a, 24 hour, 48 hour time span. Arr. Anyway, as uh, time goes on, we see that this play is supposed to be like a classy, fancy, high end play, and Prince LSP says that I want that this is a play that takes place in England. So I'm like, wait a minute. So they're aware of England? Like London, England? Arr. Again, meaning that this takes place in the future, and most normal stuff has been gotten rid of by now. So then, after, when I was getting ready for this review, I was thinking, wait a minute. If LSP is aware of the concept of England, I'm wondering if she really did write this uh, play. If she could direct it, but I, I'm a little suspect. Anyway, she, after berating uh, Viola at some point, she takes her up to the roof to try to figure out how to do some special weather environmental effects. She admits that she wants to do this play so she can get the same level of respect as Princess Bubblegum. So she wants respect, but she ain't giving too much of it to, uh, to Viola. Even going so far as to accidentally lock the door to the roof to leave her trapped up there while it rains. So anyway, it be the opening time passes. And we see Viola has actually learned the lines of the leading lady. While doing all these uh, demeaning and not really actress-worthy jars. And on opening night, uh... Tree Trunks, who had got the lead role, has to back out due to complications with her and Mr. Pig and part of the show. So Viola figures that this is her time to shine and actually uh, gets rid of LSP temporarily so she could actually do the role. Which makes me wonder this. I mean, like, if this was going to happen the entire time, I mean, if she was, if she didn't think she was going to do this, why did she lie to her father and say that she got the leading role? I mean, wouldn't him going to see in that show, wouldn't that uh, kind of poke a hole in the giant lie and show that she'd been lying this entire time? Anyway, everyone shows up, and LSP actually sees that she does a good job at doing the part for Summer Showers. So the play ends, and Jake and Viola exchange compliments. They're very happy, and uh, LSP is happy with how she acted, but mostly because of how well the special environmental effects were. Yeah, so I found this episode I found it good. It's interesting because uh, Jake was had a very minor role. Finn was just there as a body. He had no speaking part whatsoever. 
And I think it's interesting how they'd be focusing on the kids. I mean, after Jake the dad, I thought, okay, so that's the last we see of these kids. But no, we've actually, they've actually kept them in the story, and I like this. It wasn't over the top, and it does show that LSP is continuing to be LSP. Arr. She seemed a little extra jerkish in this episode, but of course it's her trying to get her way and her respect back and whatever, so I guess, yeah. Yeah, so she kind of lost some of her edge from the whole, uh, from the whole, um, Marceline special, where she actually was trying to help and then she, uh, well, she was trying to help and then she wasn't, but this is just flat out her being kind of rude. Arr. But anyway, even though it wasn't action-packed and there were some there were some funny moments, I I liked this episode. I thought it was fa fairly good. So I'd be given, ooh, I'd be given summer showers. I give it a, you know what, one thumb up. Yeah, I am conflicted with this. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't the best thing I'd ever seen. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, like I said, they focused on a character completely not Finn and Jake, and in fact, someone who we've had little to no contact with. Arr. But I like it. I mean, at least I like how they are trying to make sure that other characters get some level of the spotlight, and it's not just the same characters over and over again going through different situations. So it's interesting how they're working. Maybe, maybe it kind of gets a thumb and a half up. I don't know. It's, it's still good. I, I, I say check it out. Besides, who knows how next week will play out. Maybe, maybe, maybe looking back on this, it'll either be better or worse. Yeah, but it was so weird. I mean, I, all right, so I'm comparing this because it's going to be caught between two marathon sandwiches. It's in between the Marceline marathon and it's going to be the next week with the other marathon. So we'll have to see how that stacks up. All right, I've obviously spent way too much have way too much time thinking about this, so sorry about that. Until next time, this has been Captain Jeff for reviewing and questioning adventure time, saying thank you for watching, and as always, are.